school before 9 o'clock. I'm tired. Of and I'm just waking up and getting ready to hit the road. It took me about 15 minutes to get out of my van. I came out and I said, oh, look, the road is coming. And then I looked past it. And I was like, oh my God, that's awesome. So, well, the brush didn't help much, but we're ready to hit the road. I think the next town is some like Terrace Bay or something like that. I'm gonna make coffee there. I'm not gonna make it here. So, let's hit the road. By the way, good morning. different than uh, sitting at uh, Departure Bay and then I'm looking over at the ferries. But this is fresh water. <laughs> yeah, that felt great. Yeah, I need a coffee. Whoa. So we find ourselves on the side of the highway next to this beautiful little lake. It's so Ontario ish. And it's uh, breakfast time. A brunch. So, open up a little uh, semi shakuri kind of a plate. And, uh, yeah, my fire just went out. Anyway. Yeah, it's a little before 11 o'clock, and uh, pulling over, going to bite to eat. Uh, I don't know what's up here. <laughs> uh, I was kind of hoping to get on the lake, but this lake was suitable, so we're gonna hang out here and get some food in us. Hey, Goldberg. Go for some. I just wait for food too. <laughs> Okay. Oh, here's a brunch. In the snacky tree. Down by the river, lake, whatever you want to call it. Will it fit? <laughs> that was a nice little pit stop. Refresher, replenish some water. Put some food in my gut. Uh, I think it's currently around mid 20s right now. We're outside of Marathon, Ontario. So, we're gonna take the road and uh, see where it takes us. <laughs> Seems I'm saying that a lot. Okay, let's hit our hit. Blah, blah, blah. Let's hit it. Small town of Marathon, Ontario, Canada. Population 1500. First thing you see when you come to town a huge cop shop. It's the OPP. <laughs> Do you think I'll find any free Wi Fi here? <laughs> oh, let's go to the mall. They have a mall. Oops. <laughs> so that was Marathon, and you didn't get to see any of it. 
basically I found an A&W that was open. Got my second cup of coffee and be feeling great now. And got to upload a, uh, another video. And uh, do some editing on another one. So just kind of sat back at my morning relaxation work session. <coughs> Checked out what's down the line. <coughs> Holy dryness. Cheers. <coughs> I saw it Wawa is just down the road. Much more interesting than, where am I again? <laughs> Marathon, Ontario. That's right. So, uh, back on the highway here and uh, we're going to go to Wawa. Check out the geese. <laughs> Let's get going. fridge has been working overtime <coughs> with the um, hot temperatures that we've been having, especially being hot in here. So it's really zapped my batteries, even with the solar panels, they can't keep up. Um, right now I'm uh, at 12.3, it's usually at 12, between 12.6 12, and 12.8, 12, 12.9. 12, and it's last couple days it's been like 12.3, 12, 12.4. So it hasn't had a chance to fully recharge. So, I thought about this earlier. And when I pulled over here to, you know, do the potty break, take the dog for a walk, I checked my fridge and it wasn't working. It went to an error. Which really isn't cool because I have injections in there and they're supposed to be refrigerated. So, we opted this. There we go the old inverter because I haven't hooked it up yet to plug in. This is actually hooked up to my car battery and I'll just leave it running since it's yeah, I'll keep my refrigerator going for the next while because I'll be driving into Wawa. It's about another 45 minutes and then I'm probably going to drive to uh, Sault Ste. Marie tonight to get there for dinner. So yeah. Let's uh, hope these solar panels recharge this uh, van uh, auxiliary batteries. Um, I still need to put one of those um, dual battery charging systems in. I have the wire and I have the actual solenoid, but I haven't gone around to uh, putting it in yet. So uh, that's gonna be a major one. I think I'll do that when I get to it. Oh, wait, I am in Ontario. <laughs> Uh, hopefully I have some friends there that we can uh, have a garage or a driveway or something I can uh, climb underneath this beast and uh, get everything all tickety boot up, wired up and have a two reliable uh, charging sources instead of one because when the weather's like this, it seems I'm not pulling a lot of charge out of the sky. So we've eliminated everything that's drawing power and we're gonna try to charge the batteries up with solar power. Again, fingers crossed. <laughs> this van wave, I'm learning so much about the solar power, it's kinda cool. Okay, let's hit the road. That's the third dump box to go by. <clears throat> there must be a big mine around here somewhere. The helicopter took off. Wawa, Ontario. I'm just at the tourist, tourist information booth. We'll go have a picture of me of the goose here pretty soon. Um, just sitting here and uh, letting my fridge get cold. That's why you hear the diesel running in the background. You know what? I think I need a haircut pretty soon. I might use a Goldberger's clippers on myself. I mean, what the hell? It'll grow back. Are you kidding? Another oversized load coming? This is the highway coming into Wawa. Oh, here comes some more machinery. 
so that it's the uh, big mining uh, dump trucks where they actually have to strip them down and take the tires off and the boxes off. I guess they're too big to transport on the highways. It's kind of cool. Stuff we see on the road. So, this is the Wawa information booth. And guess what? It's closed. Must be that COVID stuff. <laughs> Anyways, Wawa is known for is Canada Goose. It's a big Canada Goose. I'd love to tell you about you know the history of Sir James Dunn and Lois and Alex and Joe, but the booths close, so I don't know. I think Joe was a friend of the booths. What do you think? <laughs> I was expecting it, like I Google mapped it and looked down from the satellite and thought, oh, this looks like a bad piece of quicker town. Let's go for a drive through Wawa. <laughs> okay, this is their main street. One block. Beautiful Lakeview Restaurant and Hotel. This is their library. Top shop. Mail. Bunch of little thrift stores. Check out the Canadian Tire. It's huge. dollar store yeah basically that's it four blocks four short blocks of Main Street it's pretty cool check out the uh, solar panels on the church somebody was thinking so that was fun <laughs> That's Wawa. I want my last thing to show you on my way out of town. Okay? We're gonna head to Sault Ste. Marie. to check these out. Uh, there's a goosey. And this place is full of gooseys. Yeah, that's a pretty spectacular sight. That's a lake at the bottom of that monstrous cliff. Oh my God, look at that. This is the uh, Lake Superior National Park. I stated before that I have a bit of a deadline that I have to kind of make and I uh, really want to stop in these places. So, on the way back, we are, okay? I'm not going to put myself any deadlines. I do have a deadline, but I'm going to give myself lots of time to get back home. I want to explore this northern Ontario. There's so many cool things that I wanted to stop and see, but yeah, we'll do it. Right after we take care of hauling butt down to Tirana and other points around Tirana. <laughs> I was practicing, so I sounded like a native Toronto, Torian. That's what they're called. Anyways, back on the road. So, let's drive down the highway. And I keep looking off to the sides because of the beautiful lakes and stuff. 
and I spotted a moose. So I have to park back there. I'm gonna walk down here and see if we can see the moose. Woo. That sucks. It was right down there. I drove by. It looked up when I started to break and stuff. I might have scared it into the woods. That sucks. It was huge. Huge, I tell you. Oh well. I'll keep looking. <laughs> Okay, Susie and Marie, here we come. I'm amazed. Like, it's one of those things, like, in Long Beach, on the west coast of Vancouver Island, or Niagara Falls. Certain things just appear, and you just kind of have your, like, breath taken away. Like, you're, you're astonished, you're amazed, you're like, seen anything like that before and this lake here superior is crazy huge and big like i've seen sites like that four or five times already and it's like it's still the same lake oh my god it's gorgeous i can hardly wait to explore it on the way home okay back on the road <laughs> This one I actually hit. You're allowed to camp here. Free. God, I stuck. I'm still astounded by the, um, the size of this lake. Man life. So this is the road I took in. Just a little path. And it's like... 200 meters off the road, if that. It's awesome. Oh, look at these guys. I think they can get in here. <laughs> Looks like we made it. <laughs> okay, we're getting close to the Sault Ste. Marie. Uh, I'm gonna go find a place to uh, relax for a while. This is a beautiful town from what I remember. But I'm getting old and my memory isn't the best. <laughs> No, it was. It was right on the lake, so... Let's go, Abu. Whoa. This looks like a big kind of city. <gasps> chicken. Dying for chicken. And this looks like a big enough town that they might have a KFC. Check this out. 